Hey guys, Smelling Roses here. Welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate all your views and support. Now you guys know that I rarely do any kind of gear reviews, but in this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at a brand new product that I think is pretty cool. We're gonna be taking a look at this campy gear combination stove and heater. Come along, let's check it out. Guys, this is a prototype model that I have here. This stove has not yet hit the market, but it is gonna be available soon on Amazon. This is the large version. There is also gonna be a smaller version available. The manufacturer has already informed me that there are some changes that have been made to the design, possibly to the packaging as well. A lot of that has been based on the testing and reviews of YouTubers such as myself. I've been using this stove for a few weeks now and there's some things I like and some that I don't and we'll just take a quick look at it. First of all, this is the box that I received the product in and I imagine it's going to continue to ship in something very similar to this. Just a standard cardboard box with some padding inside. You can see the company logo on the outside and a few details about the product. Here's a close-up of the regulator, and it does come with a PSO ignition, so it's pretty easy to light. It kind of takes a little getting used to it first, but once you get it down, it's pretty easy to use. Carry handle with the traditional styling. It has this small lever on the side to switch from heat to cook, and you can see in the heat mode, it closes these vents on the top. And when you switch it to cook mode, the vents open to allow more heat to escape. And it has these integrated little arms on the top that can fold out to accommodate pretty large pots and pans. Overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of materials and workmanship in this product. It's put together very well, very clean, and it just looks good. I really like the metal connections for the gas line. They're not plastic. There are a few weak points, however, and one of the main ones is with this little lever here. First of all, it's very thin and flimsy. You can see it's just barely soldered on there, not very strong. If you have the leader lever all the way to heat mode and the bale is on this side, you can lift it with no interference. However, if the lever slides just slightly in this direction towards the cook mode and you lift the handle, you can see what happens there. It catches. And if this was rolling around in the back of your truck or you didn't pay attention and you just picked it up from there with a lot of force, you could easily bend this lever or, or even completely break it off. This part could also completely break off. If this were to break, it certainly would not render the stove useless, but just don't really want that to happen. I think it's sort of a design flaw there and I know the manufacturer is aware of this and I'm hoping that on the final product they've got something a little better for you guys. I tested some cooking with this stove using a full-sized heavy lodge cast iron skillet and on a fairly warm day I had to keep the temperature at the max to in order to keep the skillet hot enough to cook. I would be a bit concerned about trying to cook in cold weather. In later testing, I used a thinner GSI skillet, and in that case, I was able to reduce the heat and had a little bit more control over the flame. Although I was able to cook without any issues with the heavy cast iron skillet, I believe the stove would function more efficiently and faster if you use the thinner, you know, standard camping cook sets. So when you have the stove in heat mode, this area here just sort of radiates heat in all directions. And unfortunately in my area, it hasn't really been cold enough to fully test that. It does get very hot, but I'm not sure how it would actually do in cold weather. I'll have to do some more testing on that this upcoming winter. So I know you're all wondering how much does this stove cost? And I do not know the answer to that question. As I mentioned, the stove that was sent to me is a prototype and as of recording this video, it's not yet available to the public. I asked the seller to send me some links that I can place in the video description when it becomes available. So if you're kind of interested in this and you want to check it out, come back uh, maybe in a few weeks. I think it's a really cool product and has a lot of potential. 
and I'm pretty sure you guys will see this stove again on my channel in the future as I continue to test it out and get some use out of it. Thanks so much for checking it out, guys. As always, I really appreciate all your views, support, and comments, and I'll see you on the trail.